Hi there folks, this is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B-plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 419-899-2020. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com, that's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There is a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering Offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 419-899-2020. Again, that's 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2012 Born Free 25RB with 60,295 miles. All right, folks, here we are inside of this 2012 Born Free 25RB. As usual, we're going to start in the front and work our way towards the rear, try to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are a family-owned and operated dealership since 1976, started by Levi and I's mom and dad. Today, we specialize in hard-to-find small motorhomes like these Born Frees, Chinooks, Road Treks, Pleasureways, and the like. We find that not only do they have compact floor plans that are great for our customers, they also have a quality build and are more richly appointed than many of the RVs you find on the road today or being manufactured today. This is a one-owner unit. We purchased this from a gentleman who had two homes, one in Vegas and one in Iowa. He used it primarily to drive back and forth, did not stay in here a whole lot. It has been very well taken care of, a small blemish on the couch there. Something he stored inside. We'll check out the decals on the outside to show you that. This is also a special unit as my wife and I, Samantha, and also our friends, Troy and Jason, the Parrot brothers, Troy's wife, Kirsten, and Troy and Kirsten's son, Oliver. Uh, we chose this unit to take out for episode two of our Hit in the Highway series where we headed north to northern Michigan. We are doing this series as a new series to showcase some of the RVs that are coming soon and give you an idea of what your RV adventure could be like, as well as give a good shakedown of these units before they head into the shop for inspection. That way our guys have a heads up on some of the stuff that might need snuffed up or buttoned up to bring it up to our standard. In honor of that awesome trip, we have decided to name this RV Fletcher. We'll drop a link to that video on the video screen as well as in the video description. We hope you enjoy that and will join us for our next RV adventures that we do. Got great overhead storage throughout in this RV. Very nice cabinets. We'll check out the inside of some of those here shortly. We've got manual blinds on this one with the Air Max vent covers there that allow you to have those windows open while it's raining. We did use those on our trip to Fletcher's Pond, which was very nice. The AC was not functioning quite properly on that trip. Uh, we got that buttoned up now, but the, the fantastic fan really saved us as well as those Air Max vents because it was a rainy evening and a rainy second day on our trip. Um, this RV is so nice, we've decided to use our new unicorn pointer, as you can see here. This is quite the unicorn unit. We do have a small blemish on the couch there. This is a jackknife sofa with removable armrests. When it's jackknifed out, you can still walk through. You can still use the ladder to access the upper bunk. These flex steel seats here do have seat belts on them as well as swivels, so you can position those how you'd like. This table here picks up and out to create a nice sitting area where you could perhaps have coffee or something of the like. Got manual blinds on this window as well as the slider window that has a screen on this portion as well as the Air Max vent right there. This is the um, hook for the bunk ladder. So you can see there's a few blemishes there from where people are hooking that bunk ladder on. Got some books in here, or curtains, excuse me. And also your books are up here. Another compartment there with a little curtain. Stepping down to the entry area here. These RVs do have molded steps that enter the coach. Got a little rack there as well as your fire extinguisher. Some switches here that operate the overhead ceiling lights as well as the porch light. This system here is built into the RV. That's a factory system that has a DVD player that goes to the 28 inch Samsung TV there, as well as has connections for perhaps a PlayStation, Xbox, something of that sort you could plug in there. And also will go to the speakers on the ceiling in the coach. We've got your thermostat for your furnace. That's a propane furnace. Flipping around towards the kitchen area here. Take a peek at this storage real quick while we're here. Do have some storage above the jackknife sofa. Moving back to the kitchen, we've got some nice storage bins here as well. 
Just a lot of storage in this 25 footer. Very nice cabinets, very beautiful cabinets as well. Got a slider window there, Got a two basin sink. Nice Corian countertops. We do have a vinyl white backsplash. This is just a cover that um, reveals the propane three burner cooktop. That propane does look, or that, excuse me, that cooktop does look virtually new. I don't think he used that. We have tested it, so it does work. Got a 110 outlet along the wall there, as well as another down here. Check out some of these drawers. as well as a lot of storage down below. There is an inverter in here. So this RV does have a ProWatt SW600 inverter. Got your fuse panel right here. Got a microwave convection oven. That's a Cuisinart or Cuisinart, however you want to say that. Got your exhaust vent and fan um, light there over the cooktop. Flipping around opposite here, we will close this bathroom door to reveal this large closet here. So this is just opposite the kitchen area. Got a nice closet rod in there. A lot of space to put food, clothes, whatever you like really. Got another small compartment here and another storage compartment that is also accessible from the outside. There is a heat vent going to that, so if you'd like to keep that a little warmer, but you can have something like boots or something perhaps that you use inside and outside of the RV here. We've got your furnace ducts down below the fridge here, as well as the world famous spice pantry rack here. These have developed quite a following here. The spice rack is definitely folks one of their favorite things about these cabinets that they do in these born freeze. Just above that, we've got the tank monitor for your battery, your fresh water tank, your gray tank, so your sink and your shower. Also your black tank, your toilet, and the propane. You've also got the switch for your water pump there. That water pump will pump the water out of your onboard tank. We've got a separate fridge freezer. This is a two-way Dometic. Two-way meaning it will run on propane gas or AC, meaning your shore power plug-in or generator electricity. So some of them run on 12 volt also. This is not one of those, but preferably um, we like to run them on propane while you're going down the road anyway, so there's no risk of running your coach battery dead. Um, but this is, a, this is a nice big separate fridge freezer that you can take a lot of treats, a lot of drinks. Um, we really enjoyed this. We brought our fish home in this freezer from Fletcher's Pond. Um, it was very, very nice to have all this for our catch. Flipping around to the back here, we'll head into the bathroom. We've got a fantastic fan overhead. You can see out of this um, window here while you're driving down the road using the rear view mirror, there's a uh, catch on the door to hold that open. We've got the switches for the overhead lights here, as well as the control for the fantastic fan. So you can just turn that on right while you're here on the stool if you'd like, or in the shower even. We've got nice compartments here. This one is also accessible outside of the RV part of that same door that accesses that other inside outside storage at a 110 control for your gas or electric water heater so it has both of those options we've got a nice um, medicine cabinet here for the ladies something you can actually take a lot of stuff with you my wife and Kirsten did definitely appreciate this on the trip something they were able to take their stuff with them hey there nice to see you Quick photo of the bathroom sink here since I kind of glazed over that. It does have a nice Corian countertop in here as well. Flipping around to the shower. Do have a nice molded shower in this one. It does have a very nice low step in so it's easy entry. You don't have to step over a big tub to get in here. Nice shower head, soap dispenser there. Here we are standing in the bathroom at the rear of the coach. There is good headroom throughout this one. I'm about six foot three inches and my head just barely hits the AC here as well as the roll bar 
uh, container casement there. Born Free does use a three roll bar system in all of their units. So there's another roll bar up in the bunk there and also one in the rear by the bathroom where I am at right now. Um, Born Free was started by a man named John Dodgen. And after he heard about a lady who was driving in her RV like this and it rolled over and her young son was crushed in the overhead bunk, he vowed that all Born Frees would be built with a roll bar system. That was when they were designing the prototype. And because of that, um, just shows something else that Born Free focuses on, safety, quality, um, and just having a nice unit that is, is nice for years to come. Here is that couch again. We'll go ahead and show you that uh, made up so you can see what that looks like. The jackknife sofa measures approximately 78 inches long and 46 inches wide. Moving forward again, we do have a remote control for the Fantastic fan there on the wall that will operate the Fantastic fan here in the ceiling. This is nice because that fan is powered by the coach battery, so you can run that whenever, even when you're not plugged in or running your generator. In other words, boondocking. That was definitely an invaluable thing during our trip to Fletcher's Pond as the AC wasn't quite functioning right. And that really saved us in the night as we were able to open the windows and get a nice attic fan action here to cool us down. Moving up to the bunk area now, we've got your overhead speakers there on the ceiling, as well as the ladder here that goes up to the bunk. If you have the couch out, you can still get up to the bunk. If the couch is out, there's room to walk through as well. Up here in the bunk, we do have a couple lights that are aimable, so you can move those around to aim it where you like. A little storage space there for your phone or goodies while you're up here in the bed. And also, same thing on the other side with a 110 outlet there to charge your phone or your goodies. These slider windows do open up here that helps get some airflow if you're using the Fantastic Fan to get a nice breeze up here in the bunk. Here we are laying up in the bunk. There is a privacy curtain here that slides across this track to offer some privacy while you're up here in the bunk. My wife Samantha and I did sleep up in this bunk during our trip. There is room for two people, including a six foot three inch, 230 pound guy like myself. Our friends Troy, Kirsten, and their son Oliver slept on the jackknife sofa down below. So this is a great floor plan if you're looking to possibly take somebody else with you while still remaining compact. We wanted to make sure we were catching a lot of fish on our trip, so we had to make sure we were listening to the right tunes. What kind of music should you listen to while fishing? Something catchy. We're like your favorite umpire here at Coon Truck and RV. We call them like we see them. While no RV is perfect, this RV is very, very close, very beautiful inside and out, very richly appointed, very, very minimal blemishes. Um, the exterior decals are in excellent condition, shines inside and out, very clean underneath. This is definitely a choice specimen worthy of being called a unicorn. We've decided to name this Born Free Fletcher in honor of our trip to Fletcher Pond. Fletcher is ready to hit the highway today with its new owners, ready for more adventures. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Stepping up into the cabin, the bunk does flip over to give you easier access to the cabin area. We've got your on off switch for your own in 4K generator there, 140 hours with a fresh service by our certified owning technicians. Got the flex steel seats up front that are in very good condition. You've got vinyl flooring beneath that carpet or rug that can be taken out. We've got some service manuals and the little notebook there from the previous owner, as well as the backup camera screen. We've got a CD player that has serious capability, power windows, locks, and mirrors. This RV does appear to be a non-smoker. The cigarette lighter is unused. There are no funny smoke smells, burns, anything of that nature. All right, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2012 Born Free 25RB. This unit measures 25 feet bumper to bumper with a 14-foot manual awning. It's got Firestone tires with a date code of 4516. This RV is powered by the 6.8-liter Triton V10 engine. That's got just over 60,295 miles on it. It has the Ford E450 chassis. Exterior of this unit has a wonderful shine on it. It buffed out very good. The stripes are in very good condition. We'll take a look at that here shortly. We've got your propane tank fill, so that's where you're going to have your propane tank filled. That is mounted to the unit, so you cannot remove that easily. A little storage bin. 
Got your fridge access, so you can access the back of the fridge if you needed to work on that. Your furnace exhaust. Got a little porch light up here as well. A couple of 110 outlets, in case you'd like to set up a table here under the awning or TV perhaps. Here in this storage compartment, we've got your water heater on the left. There is a bypass on that water heater, making it easier to winterize. That access door on the left there is in the bathroom. And this door here is in the main part of the coach across from the kitchen. That's a furnace vent there to give some heat in this compartment. Below that compartment that you can access from the bathroom in the main part of the coach as well as the outside. We've got another compartment with your shore power cord, a water hose, and some other goodies. Stepping around to the back of the RV here, we do have a tow package in case you'd like to tow a small car or something of the like. Back of your water heater. Ladder for rooftop access as well as a backup camera right there. As I mentioned before, the stripes and the exterior shine very well in this unit. We'll take a close up here of some of these stripes. Just very nice overall, even the black ones that have a greater tendency to fade due to the heat are in very good condition. Born Free Lion and the logo there are very nice. These gold stripes do have a gradient ombre style effect that is not fading. That's part of the graphics. Got the max air vent um, covers there on the windows that allow you to have those open while it's raining. We use those on our trip to Fletcher's Pond. We've got a door here that opens up for your uh, drain access as well as a flush for the drains. Got your shore power connection there. Fuel tank fill that runs the engine as well as the generator. Outside shower area here, got a pressure regulator going into your city water fill. The control here for the outside shower, your freshwater tank fill, such so as a gravity fill that'll fill the onboard tank, a small light, TV coax in. We've also got two AGM batteries that will give you more power than your standard deep cycle marine batteries. And also an Onan 4K generator with 140 hours that has been freshly serviced by our certified Onan technicians. Mm -hmm.